Sake. It's Japanese for bamboo. It's a remarkably versatile material. It's strong, flexible, easy to produce, aesthetically pleasing, natural, and elegant. It was used as a filament in the first light bulb. It is edible. In spring, it can grow over a meter a day. It's found in the homes of both the rich and the poor. It is a grass. Asia has long had a special relationship with this grass. Japan specifically has had a culture with rich connections to bamboo. This, however, is changing with the times. It's now typical to see plastic bamboo around Japanese cities. Like other natural materials, bamboo is slowly losing its role in society. There are those, however, who are holding strong onto, protecting, and promoting the real essence of bamboo. Chikusado is a store in inner western Tokyo where bamboo art is still being produced in the traditional way. The shop was established in 1907 by Tanaka Kisuke, a local bamboo craftsman. The history of the store now encompasses four generations of the Tanaka family. Chikusado is pressing against the well set grain of the 21st century back to good old fashioned high quality craftsmanship. Chikusado originally made large baskets, screens, rakes, and other items for practical use. Indeed, this was at a time when bamboo products were an integral part of daily life and they were found in any given house. This is not to say that that's all they produced. Tanaka Kiyoshi, the son of the founder, was well known locally for making large bamboo models of various items and animals for promotional, cultural, or even political use. They were projects of mammoth proportions and would strike the imagination of everyone who saw them. Nowadays, similar models are made from rubber, plastic, or fiberglass. The originals, however, were made from bamboo and washi paper. With some of his pieces towering at over 10 meters in height, it's not surprising that the store was a well known local landmark. In addition to the family workshop, Chikusado is a small store that sells a large number of bamboo products. Handmade lamps, baskets, vases, traditional Japanese toys, kitchen implements, screens, corporate toys, letter openers, and many more items are found on the shelves. Currently, there are three generations of family helping out in the store. Now, managing the Chikusado shop is Tanaka Kyokusho, a grandson of the shop founder and an accomplished bamboo artist in his own right. He was brought up in the store and with the numerous wonderful creations, so it comes as no surprise that most of his home memories are somehow related to bamboo. あの、
ノコで金じゃなくてこういうあの専用のナタがあってそれで5回ぐらいにこう分けてあの自分が回りながらこうナタで切っていくんだけどそのと切り株が大体あの五弁に分かれてるわけでその切り株っていうのはもうすごい真っ白なんですよ中はねそれが一番最後にその夕方になってきた時にその闇の中にこう浮かぶわけそのなんていうか切り株だけ白くでそれがすごい印象的で、うん、なんか花が咲いたみたいになって綺麗で<笑>それが一番最初の,あの滝に対する印象っていうか。Growing up in the shop, Kyokusho was exposed to bamboo on a daily basis. As part of his daily routine, he would help his father selecting, gathering, cutting, carrying, curing, and splitting bamboo. This gave him the foundation to skillfully prepare the bamboo strips that he would weave to create his pieces of art. To most people, it would be inconceivable to transform a single stalk of bamboo into a widely acclaimed piece of artwork. But with only the stalk of bamboo and a modest array of simple tools in his hands, Tanaka Kyokusho does just that. All of Kyokusho's pieces are meticulously well planned down to the smallest detail. It's not uncommon for him to spend over a month on planning a piece of artwork. They will often start off with a quick sketch on a piece of paper, followed by more detailed designs. The final blueprint will include perfectly scaled diagrams with all the measurements and angles labeled. This meticulous planning typifies the art of Tanaka Kyokusho. All of his projects have been filed away with detailed diagrams, notes, progress reports, and samples of the materials being used. Once the plans are finalized, the bamboo is selected. With over 600 species of bamboo in Japan alone, it's crucial to choose the right type. ここの見える通りあの黒地区って言ってます、ね、非常に柔らかい竹であの花かご作りの材料なんかに使いますもともとあの竹の子の時からこういう黒い色ですとあとここにあるのはこれがあのすす竹っていわれていわゆるあの燻製された竹なんですけど大体200年ぐらい経たないとこういう色にはなりませんでこの色のちょっと白っぽい部分はこれを荒菜を巻いた砂のところで、あのー、バラ屋根の建築材として使われて長年使われていたためにこれだけすすがあのつかなかったわけですねでこ,のこんだけ色の差が出るんです200年ぐらい経たないとこういうふうなあの茶化してもできるのかなすす酒って言ってます非常に貴重な材料ですこれじゃね1本例えばね2万ぐらいするってきますねこれもすすだけなんですけどこれはあの、まあ、細いこれと同じ種類なんですけど細い方ですね中間の太さだとこれもすすだけです実際もっと真っ黒系であの洗ってこういうふうにきれいになってますけどあの屋根を解体した時には本当にすすだけだらけで真っ黒系になってますねこれ,がすこれがすごいんですけどこれは妄想地区ねこれはあの鹿児島産の竹でこれはあの竹の子高等地区の,あの同じ材料なんですけど子供の太さは極めて太くてなかなかないですこれもお茶道具ですから水差しとかあ,のあとは懸垂だとかかなり特殊なあの使い方をされています四角になって書かれてます竹の子の時にあの板にはめて矯正してあの使うので中国の転足っていうのがあるんですけども今はないでしょうけど成長期にいわゆる型にはめてしまって強制的にこういう格好になります非常に太いだけですあと変わったものではこれは亀甲竹っていうふうに言ってます
カメの甲羅みたいなのこういうとこがでキックをつくとこがてますこれもお茶道具ですねこれもこのまま使うことも多いですね横にしてあの結界って言ってあのいわゆるその境界、えー、線ですねあのお茶席で使う境界線というかそういったものに使いますまあ主なものは大体今説明したこれはあのレシピの中に載ってます。The rest relies on the wedge shaped blade to deliver a straight split. This splitting is something that he's been doing since he was a young boy, and with so many years of experience, it comes as second nature to him. ちょっと<笑>
Following the established techniques, Kyokusho will methodically work away at the bamboo strips until they have reached their desired width and thickness. He is able to split his bamboo strips uniformly to a width of 0.3 mm and a thickness of only 0.15 mm. That's as wide as a paper clip split in half and as thick as a piece of paper. After graduating from the prestigious Waseda University in Tokyo, Tanaka Kyokusho relocated himself on the island of Kyushu, where he enrolled in a nationally acclaimed private bamboo art school. He spent most of his days working on different pieces of bamboo art. But it was also during that time where he met his wife, Junko. <laughs> え、私も、え、OL生活を3年間続けたんですけれども、やはりどうしても、こう作る仕事がしたくて、で、あの、親にも黙って自分で決心して、で、竹の訓練校を行くことに決めました。で、その時にたまたま、え、主人も、あの、
As with splitting bamboo, when Kyokusho weaves, he is completely in his element. His hands move at lightning pace as he elegantly forms a weave. A lay person cannot appreciate how difficult it is to create a subtle and gradual rounding curve while weaving. It's an application of advanced mathematics. Every time Kyokusho's hands release a strand of bamboo, he is in effect performing a complex mathematical equation. Irregularities are impossible to hide. Even a small inconsistency will eventually cause an unsightly angle or unbalance on the final piece of artwork. Tanaka Kyokusho somehow manages to combine several weaving techniques to form complex patterns that will lose even the most observant amongst us. But the beauty can easily be appreciated without having to comprehend how such masterpieces were created. Kyokusho's pieces of work are proof of an extremely dedicated career in the craft. Every step of the creative process is given careful consideration and it's obvious to anybody's eyes that it is the product of extremely hard work and dedication. In fact, he's so dedicated to his work that he's never visited the supermarket just a few doors down the road. So, this is the first time I've been in the supermarket. 朝起きると本当に仕事のことだけしか考えられないのでまずスーパーへ行って買い物をするという意識はまるでないと思いますそれはきっと私に安心して任せてるんだと思っていますけどねそれで銀行にも行ったことがありませんそれ、<笑> What inspires Tanaka Kyokusho? He's certainly not the type of person to talk about his influences in an artificial or superficial way. But he must draw influences from somewhere. <laughs> I 
いわゆる隙間を空けた構成なんですよね。というのはあの空間を生かしたあの構成の仕方というかそれを今自分ですごく興味があってやってるんですけどもともとそういうものっていうのは例えば日本の,あの世界なんかでもあの白紙の部分があって要するにその。空間の部分があってそれをすごく大事にそ,れそのことによって他の部分が入るっていうかあのことがあると思うんですけどもそういったところにすごくこう共通してるものはなんかやっぱり、うんまあ、日本人はそれは全般だと思うんですけどそ,のそういったものが自分の血の中に染み込んでるんじゃないかと思ってます Now, taking the Chikuseido store into its fourth generation is Tanaka Shigeki. After struggling with various part time jobs, he decided to follow in his father's footsteps. He has just been working with his father for the last few years. So, this is the first time I've been working with his father. 3年ほどアルバイトをずっと転々とやってたんですけどそのままじゃあちょっと先のことを考えてまずいなとこんな家にこんな立派なものがあるのを見落としてたというか最初の動機としてはとりあえずやってみるかみたいなそんな軽いノリで始めたんですが、えー、最初の12年は本当に辛かったですね。Unlike his father, who uses a pseudonym, Shigeki is still working under his given name. His father laughed off even the suggestion that he may soon be given his artist name. The nature of their father son relationship changed as soon as Shigeki decided to work in the family shop. 息子を押せるってことはこんな大変なこととは思わなかったです。<笑>正直言うと。まあ、他人を教える方が楽なのかもある意味では楽なのかもしれないしでお互いにやっぱり甘えがあると思うんですよね教える方も教えられる方もね、うん、そんなのことがあのやっぱり他人を教える時のようにきちっとこの境界線ができないっていうそういうところが一つの大きな問題点になってるんじゃないかと思うんですけどえー、っとやっぱり師匠師匠ですからなるべくこう怒らせないようにですねその辺は割り切っていきたいです。最初の頃はやっぱどうしても。親父、親父っていう感じがあったんですけど。まあ、最近ちょっとずつそれは。切り替わりがいけないなっていう。はい、そうですね。あのー、まあ、えっと、自分はどういうふうに生きようかという。どんな仕事をしていったらいいのかってすごい迷いがあったと思うんですね最初はでも少しずつ最近はあの充実感が湧いてきたんでしょうあの責任感も出てきて少しずつですけども自分のペースをあの保ってくれればいいと思いますお父さんの今完成された作品を見るととても焦ってしまうと思うんですけれども、えー、自分なりの,あの世界を作っていったらいいんじゃないかなと思ってます Chiku Seido is rare in the sense that there is someone still in their youth committed to seeing that the legacy of an important cultural asset is protected and that the traditions and well built reputation continues. It's also encouraging to note that foreign interest in Japanese bamboo art is growing. In 2005, Tanaka Kyokusho took his work to the US for an exhibition. Not only was he pleased to sell a number of important pieces, but he was also overwhelmed by the fact that he was treated and received like an artist. With his well refined skills and reputation, he is now in a position where many other successful artists have been. Perhaps this is the time when the greater community really begins to appreciate the brilliance of his work. 特に日本においてはそのあまりにも竹っていうのはその一般的で日常的だったんであのまあなんていうんですかねあの認識が今,今一つその竹に対する本当の認識がまだ少ないと思うんですよねあの竹っていうのはもっといろんな意義の,あの面っていうかの魅力もあるんでそれをやっぱりもう
少し知ってもらいたいというのが自分の今大きなその希望の一つですね。The Tanaka family will certainly be one to watch for decades, if not centuries to come.